I'm gonna chop up one pound of Louisiana wild cut, caught, wild caught shrimp, and I'm gonna cut them up while they're still a little bit frozen because it makes them easier. That's our pound of shrimp. I got me this crawfish puree. Just making everything that I'm gonna make today out of things that I froze. This is sourdough breadcrumbs that I froze. Melaton that I froze. I don't like to waste anything. So just like the shrimp, these are easier to cut when they're frozen a little bit. So I'm not letting them thaw all the way out. And just gonna cut them in little pieces like this. Now we got all of that. It's still just a little frozen. This is chayote squash, which is molotov. It's a squash. I'm gonna add and mix in whatever seasoning you want, but sweet heat free meat. I put that on everything. You can get yours at sweetheatforyourmeat.com. And I got some crab oil that's infused with some lemon. Gonna close it up and shake it up and let that sit in there till I'm ready to cook. Now we're gonna need to chop up a large yellow onion. I got a handful of green onions. Put a little oil in my pot and heat it up. So I'm cooking some other cabbage back here, but y'all ain't gotta worry about that. Drop in all of your onions. <laughs> Get out of my way, Harlan. I got my grandbaby in my feet. I'm trying to cook, bro. We're gonna cook these down till they're tender and translucent. I got some bell peppers that I kind of flash froze. Get some of those in there. Uh-oh. Boom. <laughs> uh. Boom. <laughs> he thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> Stick you a little bit of butter in there. Run a little bit of garlic. Yeah, I said garlic. Throw that around for like one or two more minutes. And a little bit of cayenne. All the molotovs. We're gonna cook this down for like 30 minutes. Trying to get like a lot of this liquid out. Right, we got most of the liquid cooked out. We're gonna drop in our crawfish puree. You could just add crawfish tails here if you have them, but I don't have crawfish tails. Check it and season it. We're just putting salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. All the shrimp. We'll cook that down for about five minutes. I'm gonna cook these until the shrimp start turning pink and cut off the fire. I'll let it cool off for just a minute. This is a stuffing casserole. So I have leftover from when I made sourdough bread, bread crumbs. I'm gonna use the whole bag. So stir it up and get all that bread wet in there. This is like stuffing. Now that it's kind of cool, I'm gonna put one egg in it and I'm gonna stir that egg up before it actually like starts cooking itself because some of it's hot down there, but anyway. I'm taking all of this and putting it down in a big casserole dish. I've got a bowl of cheese. This is shredded mozzarella, provolone, and I even had a little bit of Mexican cheese left uh, from something else, so I just kind of added it all. Here we're gonna pop this in the oven with the cheese on top. 20 minutes. It ended up going 25 minutes at 350, and that's what we got. Take a square of this out. Mm. Y'all look. See that casserole? It's like a stuffing casserole. That is gonna be so freaking delicious. Before everybody gets in here, I'm gonna take a bite of this and we're gonna see how it tastes. <laughs> Say it with me. Say it with me. Sassy bon. Sassy bon. Sassy bon. <laughs> <laughs>